Looking for a little inspiration for things to improve, Aberdeen were happy to hear the whistle blow as Colin Nish hit the post. It's been a bit of a struggle this season for the two Jimmies, made all the more frustrating that their players from time to time give glimpses of what they're capable of. Between them, Stevie Crawford and Barry Nicholson demonstrated why they were brought to the club in the first place. Crawford's layoff was well judged, the raking drive left the keeper with no chance and gave the Dons the chance to build on an early lead. And thereby lies the problem, and so it became like so many other times this season. If Nish had been on target, the good work might have been undone. Nish, of course, looking to fill a Boyd-sized gap in the Killy attack. Richie Byrne came close to giving his side added security, inches away from a second for the home side. Killy have actually played well since the departure of Boyd to Rangers. Gary Wales skipping past the first challenge, but not the second, which inevitably left the referee pointing to the spot. No real complaints as Byrne caught the leg of Wales. Stephen Naismith made a competent job of the penalty kick duties. Naismith is the latest Kilmarnock player to catch the eye. And Killy will want to hold on to him for a while yet. All too familiar for Aberdeen, I'm afraid. Brought back level after taking the lead. The last home win was back in October against Dundee United. The home comfort's hard to find as Jimmy Smith discovered. Credit to Alan Cohn for the save. Aberdeen only too aware of the difference between drawing and winning games with six draws at home this season. They need players who can turn those draws into victories. Players like Crawford at his best, but Crawford isn't at his best. Although Cohn had to be sharp here to make sure the shot didn't sneak in. The gaffer knows how important his keeper is, and there was concern for both managers when Byrne and Combe came together. Only one was to get up, Byrne taken off with a dislocated shoulder. Nothing more than a high ball into the area, but an awkward fall for the Aberdeen man, and an awkward and worrying time for those on the sidelines. Their mood was to improve, and however untidy, however ugly it might have been, Russell Anderson's contribution was a telling one. It gave him his third goal of the season against Killy. No need to tell Kamarnock this should have been defended better, but full marks to Anderson for being in there to take advantage and a chance now for Aberdeen to claim three points. However, they've lost the knack of closing out a game while Killy have discovered the secret of scoring late on. David Lilly's turn this time. Five minutes to go and we shouldn't be surprised by now. Killy have done it again. They continue to score goals, they continue to pick up points, they continue to look a good bet for a top six place. They're playing with confidence and even had the luxury of the kind of luck Aberdeen have been looking for all season.